You know, one thing we haven't talked about, Shiva, this what? whole entire stampede is food. <laughs> yeah, I doubt that very much. Come on, you know you. who knows about food? No. Shaw TV Access producer Stop Kim it. Hayden from Kim's right? Kitchen, and you're there getting ready is. to <laughs> shoot the second season of Kim's Kitchen in August, and that will air sometime in October. October. That's what we're aiming for. That's what we're aiming for. Uh, we got Jim keeping track of us oh. since you know. Poking us with the stick, getting things going. Can we chat about her outfit? Yeah. First of all, starting with the boots. I don't know if you guys can get a shot I of her boots. I love those um, boots. Hello, those, Miss Style Fashionista. Those are beautiful. Those are those are my. I actually got these story? years ago. Yes, I got really skinny and hot when I was 37. <laughs> so I've had these for a long time. <laughs> and we're going out, and I'm not the most coordinated person. So I'm going. I need something cool. Uh -huh. I'm going to go to Cowboys at Stampede. Yes. When I and uh, so I got these. So I figured, and it was a good thing because man, those floors get sticky by day number yeah. eight. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's the story behind these. I just didn't want to fall over, but I wanted something kind of cool. So unlike Shiva here, who can actually balance on oh sticks. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you know yes. what? It's kind of my thing. Stilettos uh, are kind of my thing. You, and hey, we've you're got my something hero, in common man. here. Yes. Look, we both have the red, red. nail polish and the red yeah. lipstick. I, feel so I love place. your style, though, oh, Kim. Back at you, my dear. If I was, yeah. you know, 20 years younger, <laughs> 30 pounds thinner. Oh, my goodness. So I'll be working it. Oh, so, thank so, you so much. fashion is her passion. As yeah. you can see, but also food is yes. your passion, young yes. lady. You're taste testing food over the stampede. You've been oh, busy. it has been a blast. Yum. Uh, food to me is very about a connectivity. It's bringing people together. I believe that we've we've drive-throughs have lost uh, that art of conversation over food. Is that the hundred dollar hot dog? That's the hundred. And Dougie was moving it, man. So Not my Dougie. Here, yes, right? yes. We had a blast. Um, Did you like this? That was pretty good. Um, was it worth a hundred dollars? I would. Uh, you know what? A lot good. of people <laughs> thought so. And you know what? I will tell you, they were very entertaining. Him and his crew. There you are. Yes. And the wind ice, blowing. Ice I. They. <laughs> they moved. You'll notice Keegan is, which was a former <laughs> hitman, which is now yeah. uh, been moved up to uh, Flames level. Oh, this one won. This is the empanada chat. The owner of this truck, just so everybody knows, Nacho, is actually right. Nako truck. Naco truck. Yeah. The gentleman is uh, a classically trained chef from Paris and just opened his restaurant three days ago in Vancouver. A okay. sit-down restaurant. And he's got his poor old mom here slaving in the truck. In the oh my God. I'm trying to gain some yes. calorie fat. Oh, peanut butter covered. Emily, absolute doll. I'll tell you, there were three people that really stood out to me. If you look, see, look at her branding. She's got incredible branding. Uh, presence and it's really an entire lifestyle for her. She's all about the peanut. Her and her husband met yeah. and bonded over peanut butter. Aww. Yes, I swear. Yeah. Um, and then there was the family freeze. We saw the family freeze with the the mini donuts. Yes. And she okay. Guess what <laughs> she does when she's not at Stampede? Yes, ma'am. My favorite. Uh -huh. She runs a Santa Claus school. She trains oh and dresses Santa Claus. Goodness. For awesome. around Jennifer that is, is so amazing. Cool. So that's what I've spent yes. my stampede. This has been best stampede ever. I have met amazing. And you know what's really awesome is the family unity within the a lot of these vendors. Like um, amazing stories. The Colossal Onions. Yes. Third generation. Yep. He's actually in the process of tracing the the all the fairs that his father did. And he's got his three daughters working for him. Uh, lemonade Jesus. stand. There's yes. another one too. Yes. I remember going there last year and talking to the lemonade people. Yeah, I did yes. too. And again, it's, there's that there, heritage it's from generation BC, yes. I think. Yes, yes. It's fantastic. It's, a lot of family it's, business. Yeah. It's it's that to me is as good as sure. the food, right? It's yeah. just getting it's to the see stories. Them. Yes. It's those and stories. I, I have determined that Stampede is strategically placed in July mm -hmm. yeah. because it's six months away from Christmas, so I can get the 10 pounds off oh. that I've lost. And then getting it all back during yeah, Christmas. Exactly. I think it's, we're it's on a, the same schedule. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> did you also spend some time in Cranston? They had. A, I did. What I was have, that all about? Well, I our communities, our outlying communities, our burbs put on amazing uh, stampede breakfast, and Cranston served nearly 53, just over 5,300 people. Um, I think Ramadan maybe is having a little bit of an impact on the number of people who eat breakfast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so their their numbers were anticipating 6,000, but they ended up with 5,300. It had it was oh. That maybe I should get a little bit taller shirt. I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I never sell three children. Sorry. Hello. Um, hello. But yeah, the Cranston Amazing. I'm actually headed over to Silverado this afternoon. They're doing a little bit different. They they're not doing the breakfast. They're doing a luncheon, and they have an artisan fair also. So yeah. really, our yes. communities are amazing. Um, everybody, they are. it is. And I do think that 
Stampede 8 may have a little more spirit than than even Christmas. I think Stampede's overtaking that. Is there it, summer it's Christmas? It's a culture. It it's is. Summer Christmas. It is yeah. Christmas in July. Yeah. And it's Nothing that, wrong with that. Yeah, it's it's awesome. We I'm so look forward excited. to your show. It's called yeah. again Kim's Kitchen right here on Shaw TV. Kim is an access producer here at Shaw TV, and Thanks we cannot for being wait here, for that to start up again. Yay. Yay. Thanks for yeah. being here. You know, one person we should team her up with is the ride guy. Patrick. Yes, Patrick we the ride guy. Oh, Pistol Patrick. Patrick. And Mike. And Mike. We can't forget Mike. Here's another ride. He's a big player. A little stomach churner that we've got loading up in the background here is called Zero Gravity. You know, it's interesting how many of these rides actually look like they contain some scientific principle. I'm wondering how much education is compared to distraction there is in going down the midway, but now I'm suddenly distracted. Let's be educated. Let's educate ourselves exactly what this thing can do to one's inner workings. That seems to be the zero gravity. It looks to me more like the Hurlatron 5000, but uh, heck, uh, you know, I'm not against trying something that uh, that offers a little, uh, once again, centrifugal force into the mix. Um, let's, uh, let's throw ourselves at this one and see what sticks to the wall. The, uh, what the other Quizonauts thought of zero gravity. Oh. Um, 10 out of 10, because, um, I don't know. <laughs> you can't move your head, so it's kind of fun. 10 out of 10, because you feel like you're like, not, not capable of moving. Yeah. 9 out of 10, no one puked. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, so that's zero gravity. I would say it rates better as a NASA testing platform than a midway distraction. Whoa, bring your gravel. Well, I guess for raising your heart rate, we gotta give this one at least 85 BPM, but uh, there's less fun in it more than there is losing lunch in it. Anyway, I'm Ride Guy. Keep on riding, but find something fun, would you? Ugh. Okay, what did he call that? The Hurlatron 5000? <laughs> I'd love that. I've been, oh, it's I, Oliver. I'd like to hear how uh, Mike is enjoying those. Yes, Oliver is yeah. to me as Mike is to the ride guy. Uh -huh. Hey, buddy, I love that little miniature horse. Yeah, but you can't ride him, though. He could actually be in the competition. <laughs> Duh. There's a uh, mini horse competition that happens, happens at the Saddle Dome. I think 32 I don't know inches. How, how well he'd do, Just though. less than three feet yeah, tall, these so horses. Cute. They are adorable. They're adorable. Just like Chiba. Check him out. I am pretty cute. And so is Oliver. Oh. Hey, Oliver. The miniature horses are a size breed. The maximum they can be is 34 inches at the withers. In order for a mature horse to have papers, they need to meet that requirement. We actually have a measuring uh, part of the show at every show. Every horse at this show has to be measured to know that it's legitimately a miniature horse. The miniature horses, personality-wise, are very much like big horses. They're not like Shetland ponies. So dealing with the miniatures for anyone that loves horses, loves miniatures more. We have the Canadian National Miniature Competition here, which judges horses at halter, at driving, at jumping, all sorts of things. It's been the Canadian National show drawing from BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan for the last 10 years. We're very proud to hand out beautiful trophies and awards to our Canadian Nationals and have that done at the Stampede. Uh, this one is uh, Ramblin' Ranch Simply Irresistible. That's her full registered name. Uh, we call her Izzy. And she, I won her. Um, I wrote an essay and I got judged on my essay through, and it's through the, uh, the YIP program in our club. Um, and yeah, I won her last year and I've been working with her throughout the year. And she's been doing really good. Um, I'm trying to, I've been ground driving her a lot, 
um, trying to break her to drive and hopefully next year I'll be driving her in lots of classes but right now I'm just trying to get her conditioned to the, the audience and being in the show ring. I would have liked to do better on the backing up. We practice it a bit but it's a bit tough to do the, uh, the L shape um, but I think we did really good for her first show at least. Those little guys are almost reason enough to head down to the grounds. They're so cute. Pony, I want a pony. Get ready for it, Shiva. Oh, my God. I I'm already there. Yeah. My daughter's seven. My son's turning four. They're already asking for these things. But, hey, I can take them down to the grounds and they can hang out with those guys. See, there you go. Aww. We've done the impossible, Shiva. And we're going to bring it to you on Saddle Up. We've got an more. Alberta singer and yes. a tank, and we grouped them together. Enough said. More Ever after the break. Ever been on or in a tank? On a tank. Oh, it's cool. You can't, you wait till you see this. While it was driving. Sweet. I know.